From the images we've seen from the James Webb Telescope, it looks like humanity is certainly going down a path to a future like Star Trek. But are scientists going to stop here? Apparently not, because the next step to space exploration seems to be right in front of us. With details and photos finally being released of the first exoplanet seen with the James Webb Telescope, we're getting closer and closer to traveling through the stars. First, why has the James Webb Telescope become such a wonder? What you have to understand is that the James Webb is the world's first infrared telescope, which has everyone so excited and, frankly, terrified. The internet erupted with mixed views with everybody confused as to what to feel after the latest set of images captured by the telescope were revealed. So what makes this new telescope so important? Basically, infrared wavelengths are what allow scientists to see the first stars and galaxies forming since the Big Bang. The light from the pictures has taken about a quarter of a billion years to reach us, so we're literally looking into the past. It's almost like having a time machine at your disposal. No wonder NASA has been dealing with nearly 12,000 proposals from aspiring scientists to use the new space age technology. The images coming in are things human would have never imagined seeing, and even things that we have seen now look totally different. We can finally look through all the glass clouds blocking our sight because of the infrared. Right now, the biggest aim that scientists have is to use this new and exciting technology to find terrestrial and habitable planets or even find biological life. As soon as they discover planets that have enough water for oceans, we could be looking at a new era for all of us. Truly, this feels like we're finally entering the start of some science fiction movie, discovering new stars and new species. Next, let's talk about the most recent images of planet HIP 65426b. According to NASA, nobody actually expected the telescope to work as well as it did. The pictures show the brilliant mass of a a world many, many times heavier than Jupiter, that circles a star almost 400 light years away. The discovery is the most recent in a huge number of early exoplanet sightings from the telescope, and a trial of advances that will make direct imaging of Earth-like planets by future space telescopes so much easier. The new pictures have been processed and discovered by the astrophysicist Sasha Hinckley at the University of Exeter in the United Kingdom. HIP 65426b circles multiple times farther from its star than Earth does the Sun, requiring 630 years to go around it completely. The distance means it's more straightforward to see the planet against the glare of the star. It has a normal air temperature of around 900 degrees Celsius, which is actually because the planet just recently finished forming. This kind of made it ideal for imaging. The monster planet obviously can't really host human life at this point, and it's too early for anything to have formed there natively, but its important lies in its formation. The planet is just outside our solar system and could have played a part in helping our system form, so it would be a learning experience to try and figure out if that's how it works in other planetary groups too. And lastly, what could these images mean for the future? Right now, you're probably thinking, so what? We've already seen other exoplanets before so many times, right? And you're right, this isn't the first time we're getting to see the planet. But what these new images are doing is something completely new. The telescope is being used to observe the galaxies we already have discovered and have access to, for scientists to be able to answer many important questions. It will help us in understanding how galaxies form and a timeline for how long it's taken. Just think of how many scientific as well as religious questions could be answered. These new images are the closest we've ever looked at the planet, and we're sure to find about a billion things we missed before. Right now, the biggest aim that scientists have is to use this new and amazing technology to find habitable environments or even find biological life around us. As soon as they discover enough water for oceans, we could be looking at a new era for all of us. Truly, this feels like we're finally entering the start of some science fiction movie discovering new stars and new species. One of the main reasons scientists are looking for water is that, theoretically, the hydrogen could be separated from the oxygen and turned into really powerful rocket fuel for space exploration. So these planets would basically be just a huge gas station for humanity. Just imagine that your children might be studying what you're experiencing now as just common knowledge in the future. Humanity's ongoing hunt for exoplanets is something that the telescope will further beyond our wildest imagination. 
information, but with that, we'll also be able to look at our own solar system better. We can now see all the way out to the edges of our own solar system for hints of our own creation. So all in all, this new telescope might end up being as important as Galileo's first invention. In other related news, NASA's latest mission to the moon, the Artemis 1 gets delayed. The latest and most promising mission of NASA's Artemis program, which plans to return space explorers to the moon by 2025 at the lunar south pole. When the mission succeeds, NASA will follow it up with Artemis 2, a trip around the moon in 2024, which will then prompt the Artemis 3, which will take the first colony to the lunar pole of the moon which we've never actually set foot on before. This is all happening as NASA hopes to set up a colony there and then, pretty soon, set up a gateway space station in orbit. This would then allow us to send resources and people up to the station and from there, they're hoping we can start making trips to Mars. We really do live in exciting times. But sadly, a fuel malfunction delayed the launch of the Artemis 1 and will probably require a long time to fix. The hydrogen spill happened Saturday morning, as NASA attempted to fuel its monstrous space launch system to send off Artemis 1. Three separate attempts were made to fix the hole, but engineers couldn't understand what was wrong with it, and at last remains down to evaluate what was going on further. Moving on to hackers use JWT images to infect computers with malware. Go hashtag Webfuscator has become infamous with tainting frameworks with malware. The assault begins with a phishing email containing a Microsoft Office connection. Secret inside the report's metadata is a URL that downloads unknown files, which run on the off chance that specific word macros are being used. Then, a download begins of a duplicate of Web's first deep field photograph that contains a code. Securonics VP Augusto Barros said that there are several potential motivations behind why the hackers are using the famous James Webb photograph. One is that the pictures NASA delivered come in enormous sizes and so people don't really pay attention to it. So we advise you to be careful on the internet and only visit NASA's official websites to get your information. Finishing with, investments in the Magellan continue to rise. The University of Texas at Austin is putting an extra $45 million in the giant Magellan telescope, the world's most remarkable telescope. This extra financing carries the college's absolute obligation to $110.3 million. The University of Arizona, the University of Chicago, and the Sao Paulo Research Foundation all committed themselves to financing the crucial mission of constructing the machine. The initial rallying effort was actually led by the University of Carnegie, which gathered support from other members too. Named after the Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan, who proved the world was round by sailing across it. A very historic and culturally important name, and so it seems fitting for the telescope to be titled after him. The telescope is set to be completed in the late 2030s, but why is it being built so close to the James Webb telescope? Well, it's because the Magellan will have four times the resolution and will literally produce the most detailed images of deep space we've ever seen. The test images up on their website compared an image from the JWT to Magellan and the difference seemed like comparing your grandmother's old iPhone 3 camera to the brand new iPhone 13. Just the clarity and the colors alone were breathtaking. The telescope is going to offer amazing quality photographs of far off galaxies, stars and planets. Through the 2100 ton machine, we could be learning about exoplanets at an insanely fast rate and will literally pave the way for future space travel and exploration. That's a wrap for this video and thank you for watching. What do you think of the new images of the planet and do you think we'll be able to live there soon? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.